This is the Chat City Interviews from 103.2 Preston FM. AM through to uh, midday every day with yours, truly Huey Parr. Right now, drink driving or alcohol-related offences, which include failure to produce a specimen, excess alcohol and being drunk in charge of a vehicle, all carry disqualification, a significant fine, a possible custodial sentence and loss of job or livelihood. And uh, here in Lancashire, just over the festive season, we've just had some of these statistics uh, released in respect of a campaign in the county uh, around drink driving and to tell us more about that I've got on the phone at the moment Chief Inspector Debbie Howard from Lancashire Constabulary so Debbie a very good morning to you good morning Huey hope thank you, you hope you were well I am very well thank you so I'm really uh, looking forward to this uh, this, uh, this chat that we're going to have about drink driving I, I know because it, it is such an important it is such an important message to get over isn't it even though it's a message that all of us are aware about there are certain times throughout the year and uh, Christmas New Year etc is a time when sometimes we can let things slip so what about the campaign I, I think it began did it uh, during uh, 2012, so it began round about the beginning. I mean, I know it's going on throughout the year, but the campaign in particular began in December, is that right? Yes, that, that's right. I mean, every December, certainly for a number of years now, it's been going on uh, for some time. Um, but every December, and also in the June as well, we do a, a summer drink drive campaign um, that, that we do this, and it's a national campaign that Lancashire always, always uh, participates in. Um, and in December this, this last year, we've actually breath tested, uh, 1700, uh, one, 17,400 people. That's just in, in Lancashire. So that is a phenomenal number of people and motorists that we've engaged with and we've actually provided, um, a specimen of breath. And it, it's so important that we continue to do this because despite all the massive um, inroads we've made into drink drink driving, uh, there are still a number of, a small group of people that still continue to drink and drive. And it's just so dangerous because it, it just kills kills people. Um, part of my role is also overseeing all the uh, road death investigations you know, and it's not a particularly pleasant pleasant task to do. You know, we have to look at all the cases. And we, we are still seeing uh, people uh, dying on our roads as a result of drink and drug, drug driving. Mm. And, so, uh, and the, the, the tests, were they done at all times, day and night? Because a lot of people do think that if they go out for a night out, that next morning they're okay to drive to work or to drive shopping or whatever. And that isn't always the case, is it? No, no, it's not. I mean, we we do these the tests. We've done a number of um, road checks uh, throughout the county, and we'll do them in the evening. Clearly, when that's when people generally are going out drinking, and and certainly in the December time, we 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 will do it in the afternoon as well, office parties, things like that. But also, uh, a large uh, a large proportion of these tests were done early in the morning. You know, sort of when people are, are driving, are driving to work, um, because you're absolutely right. You know, people think that you can just go out and drink, and then you get up, have a few hours sleep, get up in the morning, and you're going to be safe to drive. And that, that's not always the case. Um, so some of some of the arrests that, that we have made have, have been in, in those in those early early mornings. And the, again, I, I know when you talk to people, some people are, uh, are confused about the fact that if they actually are sitting in a car but have not started the engine, then that is still an offence. Is that is yeah, that right? Yeah, it is. It is. We call it dr- drunk in charge. You know, so if you're over the limit and you're in charge of that vehicle, so you you sat there, you know, with, with, with the keys, and yes. Um, that that also is co- com- you can be committing an offence, um, but it's it's the driving, you know, obviously that that that's the main thing, and that the big main piece of advice to give to people is if you've had a, had a drink, just don't get in the car, don't drive, get you know, use some alternative transport, get a taxi, get the bus, or walk, even you know. Mm. So how do the uh, how do the statistics this year compare to other years then? Well, we, we breath tested around a similar number uh, to what we did last year for the 2012 campaign. Um, <clears throat> but the number uh, that have actually failed failed the test 
or have refused the test, it's 221, which is less than, than uh, the previous year, which is, which is good, because it's 60 people less. Um, but, but, you know, there's still, that's still quite, quite a lot. And, and what we tend to find, I mean, obviously, you, as you mentioned before, this isn't just something that we do at December or June. You know, we, we, uh, we focus on drink drive throughout the year. And, and we usually catch around about 200 people every month who are, who are drink driving. And so obviously they're arrested and they're put before the court. Mm. And and you did uh, you did refer to just when we started the conversation, and I mean at the moment uh, there's a high profile high profile case over there in the states with Justin Bieber, who's just been bailed for drink can drug, yeah. drugs mm-hmm. over in yeah. the states. So that's a very high profile case. What are the, what are the issues we face in Lancashire when it comes to uh, driving under the influence of drugs? Oh well, with ju- with drug driving, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's not as easy to to detect. Um, you know, it is it is more difficult. But actually, interesting, the the government are currently looking at changing the legislation for uh, drug driving, and uh, there'll be a paper go- going through Parliament uh, looking at bringing in the, the legislation very similar to drink driving. And so, what they're looking to do is have particular. Um, limits of drugs that's acceptable or not in, in your system and uh, I think the proposal is going to be that uh, illegal drugs, so uh, any, th- any drug like heroin, cannabis that, that's governed under the Control of Drugs Act, uh, any drugs like that, that basically be illegal to have any of those in your system and then other drugs that are um, like prescribed, there'll be a, a, again a limit and a level on, on there and we, the police uh, allow us to be given the powers so that you can, obviously can arrest people you suspect are drug driving. And then when in the custody office, we'll re- be able to request a specimen of blood to then send off for some analysis and then test it to see whether it, it actually does breach these limits. So I think that's quite a significant um, move forward because I think it is an area that um, is probably very under... Um, well, we, d- we don't really know exactly what, mm. what, what the problem is. And, and do you think members of the public, well, not all members of the public, of course, but do you think more people take risks these days because they don't think there are as many traffic police about as there used to be on the roads? Um, I'm not sure, really, wh- whether that's the case, because, you know, we we do have traffic police on the road. We, you know, we've got a lot of police officers um you know, probably probably more more than, than we've had in previous years. Um, but you know, and officers are out there doing that. We, you know, we've got the technology uh, as well. We've got the vehicles to do that. But but I think things have changed. So if you think about twenty, thirty years ago, drink driving, um, it it was almost socially acceptable to do, mm. wasn't it? Mm. You know. But I think we've we've come come along massively and really big uh, big improvements. Uh, and it is now, I believe, socially unacceptable to drink and drive. Mm. You know, in the same way as now it's also become socially unacceptable to smoke in public places. You know, you remember the hoo-ha a few years ago when, when that legislation uh, came in and, and changed. But but now, you know, you don't see people um, smoking no. you know, in public places, in restaurants and pubs, etc. And, uh, know, in fact, that leads me on to... Uh, <laughs> We, it sounds as though I planned this with you and I didn't. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that leads me on nicely to the fact that uh, it appears that it is gaining popularity with our politicians that maybe we should uh, ban smoking in cars when children are in the cars with the person smoking. I mean, yeah. how difficult would that be to police and what are your oh, thoughts on yeah, that? Yeah, it would. It'd be, it'd be very difficult to, to police. Um, I mean, clearly from a health point of view, it, it, you know, for me, it's right, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you shouldn't, shouldn't be smoking in a small, confined, confined area, with, in, you know, in front of children or, well, f- you know, I'm just, it's my personal view. I don't like smoking and, you know, <laughs> the mm. health, health risks and, and things. I wouldn't want to be next to somebody that was smoking, so definitely not, not with a child. But to make it illegal and then, you know, expect the police to, uh, to deal with, with these cases, very, very difficult, that one. 
Mm. And uh, of course, sadly, uh, you actually see the aftermath of the consequences of people who've been drinking and the um, the way it involves innocent people being caught up in accidents. Oh well, well, yeah. I mean, the um, in, in Lancashire, when you look at our fatal fatal collisions, you, it's around about um, a, a quarter of cases where there's drink, there's alcohol, or drugs involved in the cases. Now, whether that's with the driver or pedestrians, you know, who who uh, who were who were uh, drunk or who've had alcohol. So, yeah, it is. It's a it's it's a big issue. And what you tend to find as well that you're involved in a in a collision where drinks involved and you tend to get the injuries more serious as well you know because um you're, you're more reckless and um the speeds are higher therefore you, you get higher higher severity of, mm. of injuries um which is it's just just not uh, it's not acceptable is it no and how important then is education then in all this uh, i mean are you able to with all the other um constraints and uh, things that are imposed on you are you able to do education with children in schools these days well we do yes i mean there's still uh, police officers go, going into schools and uh, community support officers that that go, that go into schools and you know we deal with a wide range of uh, road safety um, issues and, and packages from wearing your seat belt to not drink driving and and speed, obviously, speed uh, is a big issue. And with the Twenties Plenty campaign as well, you know, looking for for our all drivers to be uh, more careful. And um, we've had some uh, some, ex- some excellent work where some of our officers will will go out and work with schools, and they'll actually do speed enforcement. We call it Schools Road Watch, and they'll do speed enforcement out, outside of of the schools, stop the drivers. Um, and then they'll invite the um, the offending motorist to actually go and speak with the children. Mm. And it, it's fabulous some of the results that you get and the impact. There's nothing uh, greater than having uh, a small child speaking to, to uh, a speedy motorist saying, if you don't slow down, you could kill me. Yes. You know, it's really impactive and we get some uh, fantastic um, feedback f- from those from those sessions yes i'm sure debbie can i thank you for talking to us uh, this morning on preston fm thank you it's been a pleasure and uh, maybe we'll be uh, catching up with you throughout the year and uh, i take it that uh, the campaign will be going on throughout the year, even though we're talking about festive statistics there oh absolutely yeah we'll, we'll continue with our um uh, the enforcement of, of drink drink drive and late, later this year when the, the drug drive uh, legislation comes in uh, continue to do that to make our world safer that's what we're here for ok thanks Debbie bye bye thank you goodbye 103.2 Preston FM your community your radio